So I've been sent a new Nitro car to check out from Sapphire, the Nitro Plus 5500 XT. So let's put this in my machine and see what it's capable of. Built on the AMD RDNA gaming architecture using the 7 nanometer process, the Sapphire Nitro RX 5500 XT has 1408 stream processors that run a boost clock of up to 1845 MHz, a game clock of 1737 plus 8GB of GDDR6 memory. So like the Nitro Plus 5700 XT, the 5500 XT version keeps its big brother's good looks with a similar looking shroud design, but now utilizes the award-winning Dual-X cooling solution, which is incredibly efficient at keeping your card cool even in the most heavy workload circumstances. The fan heads feature dual ball bearings, which have an increased longer lifespan over previous model designs and are 10% quieter as well. And with the quick fan connect feature, you can quickly replace a faulty fan if needed without having to deal with the pain of sending the whole graphics card back to the manufacturer just to fix a fan. The Nitro Plus RX 5500 XT comes with clear fan heads, ARGB LEDs with a three pin header on the tail of the card so you can sync up your graphics card to your motherboard to get maximum customization options for your overall case theme. Sapphire always is very demanding on themselves for incredible reliability in all of their cards with long life capacitors, fuse protections, robust PCBs, VRM cooling and memory cooling solutions to never fail you in the most demanding of situations. Like a lot of their previous cards, this also has a dual BIOS switch that you can find on the side of the card that allows you to switch from performance mode to silence mode with a flick of a switch. The card supports up to four screens using two display ports and two HDMI 2.0. It's VR friendly and requires one 8 pin power connector and we suggest a 450 watt power supply. If you happen to install the Sapphire Trick software, it will show you your overall card specification as well as a wide range of system monitors to check your hardware performance. But within the Trick's Boost tab, you can increase game performance by downscaling multiple resolutions at once by using the percentage slider. Of course, the Nitro 5500 XT is more focused for 1080p gaming, but if you wanted to push out the boat and use those higher resolutions, the Trix Boost tab gives you the options to do so by downscaling a resolution such as 4040p by 15%. Of course, you'll lose some image quality, but a lot of the time it's barely noticeable when using high resolutions. And if you wanted to add in some extra details, simply turn on the Radeon Image Sharpening tool. This thing can simply add amazing details back in without any performance cost whatsoever. As seen in this Deus Ex footage, you can really see how the contrast adapted sharpening algorithm really shows how much more detail can be brought to life by a push of a button. Let's check out some of the benchmarks using Gears of War 5 at 1080p and first we started on ultra settings here we scored 60 fps this would satisfy most high detailed gamers needs in that solo immersive gaming experience. Now if we lower those details down to medium we get an extra 20 fps giving us more performance room of course while still keeping the details relatively high but also if we wanted to go for that more competitive minded aspect we can hit them down to low and then we're hitting the three digit numbers at 108 fps which really gives us more flexibility in multiplayer games. Another great feature is the AMD Anti-Lag which is designed to help out input latency. Normally when your GPU is at max capacity the CPU will be continued to process new frames which means you can often find the CPU processing multiple frames ahead of the GPU. Anti-Lag works by preventing the CPU from getting more than a frame or two ahead of the GPU. This makes it possible to reduce the lag between what's being processed by your computer and what you see on your monitor. Generally, we can see up to a full frame of latency removed, and this can actually make playing at 60 FPS feel more like playing somewhere around 90 or 120 FPS. So the Sapphire Nitro Plus 5500 XT here is definitely a solid performing card for the price point it comes in at. If you're looking to buy a new PC on a budget, this could be the card that you reach for, especially if you want to match your case theme as well. This thing will handle that no problem whatsoever. The performance is pretty solid as well as I was saying, 1080p is no problem whatsoever and you know you can push out the boat using the Trick software, a useful tool that Sapphire provide so you can use high resolutions, downscale them and get better performance on them as well. So you have options with the card, especially with the AMD anti-lag as well as the Radeon image sharpening as well. You've got a lot of tools to play with on a card such as this. So it's an excellent pickup, especially on a budget. I highly recommend it and I hope you enjoyed the video.